Hello, this is the support video for the discussion over chapter five, a review problem on discrete probabilities. And this problem is regarding uh, problem number 16. And it was found on page 304. The numbering in this virtual book is confusing. So um, it says in a retirement community, 14% of cell phone users use their cell phones to access the internet. And a random sample of 10 cell phone users, what is the probability that exactly two have used their phones to access the internet? More than two? Question mark. So there's two questions here. One is, what is the probability that exactly two? So exactly two, um, there is, when you're having to use the Alex calculator, and that's what I'm teaching here in this video, is a formula on page 303 in your book. So if you go up to 303, see, they're not going to show it here because we'd have to go to the important formulas tab. So in the important formulas tab, here is the binomial formula for an exact so this is one you want to find exact, and we want to find exactly two. So N is 10. We're choosing from 10 customers. Um, and two is what our X is. And then P is 14%, 0.14, and Q is one minus P, or 0.86. And you can see on my screen here in the calculator um, in Alex, I have it set up right here. So 10 is my N, 2 is my X, 0.14 is my P, and 0.86 is my Q. And when I hit enter in the calculator, I get 0.2639, and that rounds to three decimals of 0.264. Okay, now the other question that was in this problem, and I go back to the review exercises here. They wanted to know what is the probability of more than two. So more than two is a greater than or equal to. Um, and what we have access, I'm gonna clear this out, what we have access to in Alex calculator is right here, this button. But notice that this is a less than or equal to. So we have to use the complement. So we're going to say one minus this less than or equal to because that gets us to a greater than. Okay. And they wanted to do more than two. So strictly more than two means that we're going to do um, subtract everything that's greater than or equal to one. So N is what we put here, which is 10. And then in the second box is our probability of success, which is 0.14, and then we'll hit enter. And so that answer is 0.14. Okay, I had a quick glance at that. Because it said greater than two, it means that two or less we're going to get rid of. So I had to change this less than or equal to one. It should have been less than or equal to two. I had to think there for a minute. Um, we all have to do that once in a great while, make my own mistakes. Um, so we had to put in less than or equal to two. So that means it's subtracting the zeros, the one, or the two, because we want everything greater than two, which means that we want to start with three and four and so on through 10. And so when I hit enter in the calculator, there's my answer rounded to three decimals at 0.155. So now that you've seen the video and corrected your mistakes, Make sure that you uh, give an honest report in the discussion. If you were to successfully be able to accomplish this problem on your own or where you maybe made mistakes and where you still might help need help before the midterm. Thanks for checking in.